students, welcome back to the science class. Last week, we have learned about biodiversity, which includes species, populations, community, ecosystems, biosphere, and how to conserve those biodiversities. So today, we are going to learn about the Simpson Index of Diversity and correlations and many more. So without further ado, let's begin our lesson. Simpson Index of Diversity is a measure of diversity which takes into account of the number of the species present, as well as the relative abundance of each species. When we look at the communities of organisms, an interesting question to think about is how diverse are those communities? And here, I have two example communities and each of them is made up of species of circles. Each species is represented by a different color. Intuitively, which of these communities would you think to be more diverse? Well, if you look at the community number one, you see that it has two different colors of circles or you could view that as two different species while community number two has four different species so intuitively we would say that community number two is more diverse but how could we actually quantify these things well to help us do that biologists have developed a tool which is known as Simpson's Index of Diversity. And so, it's gonna to be a number between 0 to 1, where you can say that 1 is a very diverse community. Then, the 0 will be means it it's not diverse at all. So, we have the formula for the Simpson's Index of Diversity. Ds uh, equals to 1 minus sums of an i times an i minus 1 divided by the capital N times the capital N minus 1. So, where the ds is the index of diversity. n is the number of all individuals. That means like this one is the n capital. And the ni is the number of individuals in I species. Let's take a look at this example. So, in this, the community one, there are two types of species, while in the community two, there are four types of species. So, how can you put all of this into the formula? Let's start with the community number one. So, let's calculate first number of all individuals or the capitals M, which is 12. Second, number of individuals in the species blue. We can count it as 7. Now, the number of individuals in the species orange, which is 5. Now, let's put all of this number into the formula. So, we got the formula ds equals to 1 minus sums of an i times an i minus 1 divided by the capitals n times the capitals n minus 1. So, ds equals to 1 minus 7, yes, yeah, 7, the number of individuals in the species blue times 7 minus 1 plus 5 the numbers of individuals in the species of range okay times 5 minus 1 and then divide it by 12 which is the number of all individuals times 12 minus 1 and then for the ds we get 1 minus 7 times 6 plus 5 times 4 divided by 12 times 11 and now we get ts equals to 1 minus 42 plus 20 divided by 132 now for the ds equals to 1 minus 62 divided by 132 
and for the ds we got 1 minus 0 0.47 and for the ds the final result is 0 0.53 now, let's take a look at the community number 2. Let's calculate first the number of all individuals. We got 13. Next, number of individuals in the spacious blue, which is 4. Next, number of individuals in spacious orange, which is 4. Next, number of individuals in spacious red, which is 3. And the last one, number of individuals in spacious white, which is 2. Now, let's put all of this number into the formula. We got the formula ts equals to 1 minus the sums of ni times ni minus 1 divided by the capitals n times the capitals n minus 1. So, ds equals to 1 minus 4 which is the number of individuals in the spacious blue times 4 minus 1 plus 4 which is the number of the individuals in the spacious orange times 4 minus 1 plus 3 which is the numbers of individuals in the spacious red times 3 minus 1 plus 2 which is the number of individuals in the spacious white times 2 minus 1 and then all of this divided by 13 which is the number of all individuals okay times 13 minus 1 and then for ds we got 1 minus 4 times 3 plus 4 times 3 plus 3 times 2 plus 2 times 1 Divide it, all of this is divided by 13 times 12. So for the ds, we got 1 minus 12 plus 12 plus 6 plus 2, and all of this divided by 156. So for ds, it's 1 minus 32 divided by 156. And for the ds, it's 1 minus 0 0.21. And the final result for the ds is 0 0.79. Now, let's compare the index of diversity between community 1 and then community 2. ds for the community 1, it's 0 0.53. And ds for the community 2 is 0 0.79. So we can conclude that community 2 has higher diversity compared to the community 1. Now, let's talk about correlations. Correlations is a statistical technique that can show whether and how strongly pairs of variables are related. For example, like the relationship between the distributions and abundance of a species and abiotic factor such as the exposure to the light, temperature, soil water, content, or salinity, or saltiness. To decide if there is an association, you can plot scattered graphs and make a judgment by eye. Alternatively, you can calculate a correlation coefficient to assess the strength of any correlations that you suspect to exist. Three types of association are positive linear correlations, no correlations, and negative linear correlation. The strongest correlations you can have is when all the points lie on a straight line. There is a linear correlations. This is a correlations coefficient of one. If as variable A increases, so does variable B. The relationship is a positive correlation. If as variable A increases, variable B decreases, then the relationship is a negative correlation. A correlation's coefficient of zero means there is no correlation at all. 
you can calculate a correlations coefficient to determine whether there is indeed a linear relationship and also to find out the strength of that relationship. The strength means how close the points are to the straight line. Now, we are going to discuss why biodiversity matters. First, moral and ethical reasons. We share our planets with huge range of other organisms and we have no right to drive them to extinction. Second, ecological reasons. In general, the higher the diversity of an ecosystem, the less likely it is to be unbalanced by the changes in the conditions or threats such as pollution. Third, aesthetic reasons. What life is a source of income for many countries as ecotourism has increased in popularity. Fourth, social and commercial reasons. Diversity increases the resistance toward disease in plants. Sith under surfaces, forests absorb carbon dioxide and may help to reduce the effects of increases in carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Organic waste materials added to the water is broken down by microorganisms. Transpirations of plants contributes to the water cycle, providing us with drinking and irrigation water. Termites and ants, along with many species of fungi and bacteria, recycle elements such as carbon, nitrogen, sulfur, and phosphorus. Now, we're going to discuss about how to control alien species. Alien or invasive species are those that have moved from one ecosystem to another where they were previously unknown. Some species have been introduced as biological control agents to control pests. Unfortunately, it then becomes a predator of other animals. Alien species have a variety of effects on their new environments. As well as being successful predators with few controls, they may compete effectively with native organisms that occupy the same nicey, who's pushing them to extinction. They may also introduce diseases that spread to similar organisms that have never been exposed to the pathogens. Now, we're going to discuss about how to restore degraded habitats. Conservation involves restoring areas that have been degraded by human activity or by natural catastrophes such as flood, fire, hurricane, typhoon, and earthquake. Mangrove forests are found throughout the tropics. They provide important ecosystem services, they reduce coastal erosions by reducing the effects of strong waves during the storms, and they act as a barrier to rise sea levels by trapping sediments. I think that's all about our lesson today. Don't forget to do the exercise on Edmodo. See you!